People quick to shout that Dion is a sellout or he turned his back on his community. But in the same situation, what would you do? And did he really sell out? Or is he paving the way for a brighter future? This video is under the fair use. This is a fair use act video. the last 35 years telling us there ain't but one Deion Sanders. And now he's telling us go find somebody else to do what Deion Sanders does. You can't have this both ways. I don't judge him for taking the job at Colorado. They probably increased his salary by something like 15 times, mm -hmm. right? I totally get that. It all makes sense. But what he did was something that college coaches do all the time, which is you have to sell people four-year, ten-year plans when your plan is always one year at a time. That's the only way that you could really pull that off. And so he came in and he sold a long-term vision for what was going on at Jackson State, but his goals and ambitions were always to be a Power 5 head coach. My take has always been he went to Jackson State primarily because he wanted to be a head coach but didn't want to ever be anybody's assistant coach. So he had to find somebody that would give him a job and make him a head coach and so he could have that on his resume and then he could take that to try to get the job that he actually wanted. Jackson State was the place that could do it, and he did a lot of good work while he was at Jackson State. But all the bigger, grandiose notions of what he was doing for somebody else, no, it was what it always is. He did it for Dion, and that's fine if you don't tell us that you're trying to do this for somebody else. But can he do both? Can't he go to a program and be there for three years, only have five losses like he did, and, and bring the attention? Maybe the next person won't be, you know, prime time. They won't be as, as charismatic as he is. But he still did bring attention to it. And, and what I've seen from the athletic director and other people is they were grateful for him. And they oh, no. talked about him going on and something he signaled because of the financial disparities here. No, he's very good. But I think the magnitude of the financial disparity is so much greater than anybody realizes. I think the magnitude of the financial disparity between HBCUs and other FCS schools the smaller division in Division One is bigger than people realize it is. So there's room to criticize him for the way that he has left and for the fact that his initial rhetoric is not in line with his ultimate. Well, Montezin, what would you have him do? What, what would, would I, you have the man do? Oh, well, I wouldn't have come in in the first place and said that God sent me here to fix HBCUs and God decided that in the middle of it you were supposed to leave. <laughs> Right? I mean, like, the thing I've said is maybe God wants 10% of 5 mil and not 10% of 375. If God can do math, I can understand why it is. He sold a dream and then walked out on the dream. People have the right to be critical of that. I also would have taken the job that he took at Colorado, right? It's not a judgment of the fact that he took the job. But this is not in line with what he told us for all that. Funny how when it's time to tear down our people, it's our people that's doing the tearing down. CNN got Bamani Jones up here stating his opinion. But if Bamani Jones didn't agree with the agenda that they was pushing, they would have never had him up there. But it's always our people that throw rocks and they live in a glass house. First off, Bamani Jones said he would have never even went to the school. So who are you, bruh? Like, you don't even take the time out to try to help your people. Coach Primetime, he's did a wonderful job, an amazing job. First off, he did what he said he was going to do. He went to Jackson State. He made Jackson State relevant. He got them two national championships, well, two SWAC national championships back to back. He rebuilt that school. He got that school a new facility for practice. He got them new jerseys. He got them new equipment. He got them relevance. He got them pride. He gave them the tools to make a great program. They have just won two back-to-back -back championships. They got recruits pouring in. People fail to realize that Dion also built the school in Texas out of his own money, Prime Academy. It had to be shut down due to insufficient funds. He was paying out of his own pocket. He was asking for the community. Nobody stood to help. Dion Sanders at Jackson State was robbed. Yes, Coach Prime was robbed. They went in his office and stole his gear, stole his materials, stole his personal possessions. They even stole from his sons. Yes, but we're talking about what he did wrong. Coach Prime was there. He's a leader of men. And what you don't realize is he led men. He gave them a new walk, a new attitude, a new focus. They are not the same people that they used to be. They've been prime time. Yes, prime time. And what you fail to realize is prime time did what he came to do. He made them relevant, made them great. He fixed them, and he's moving on. 
I don't hear nobody talk about Brett Favre and the way he mismanaged the accounts for water. And that's directly affected Jackson State's people because they didn't even have water to practice with. Dion bought a truck of water with his own money. But Dion kept coming out of his pocket. And what we fail to realize, Dion Sanders brought that school more exposure than they would ever have. He had them on his own platform for over two years. Dion got them sponsorships. He got them grants. He got people looking at the swag now. People who forgot about the swag are now paying interest to it. And Jackson State has accumulated more resources and money than they would ever have had without prime time. Yes, he's moving on to a better, bigger and better pasture, yes. But he also fulfilled the role of which he said he would do. I actually, he was making 300000 a year. So now he's making 91% less than what the job is valued for. If we wanted Dion to stay so bad, why did we not put in the money to pay that man? Not one person out here in this world will take a job, get paid 91% less than what the going rate goes for. Don't say that you will because then you're lying. And then look into the fact this is not his last stop. When he gets done with Colorado, where do you think he might be next? The NFL, then he has another chance to shine light upon the players as well. See, people see and think and sit and contemplate and talk short mindedness. And they're always quick to judge the next man without trying to be in the next man's situation. Jackson State is in a hundred times better position than when Dion got there. He also gave them the blueprint that they need. Look, you can give a man a fish and he can eat for a day. Or you can teach him to fish and he can eat for the rest of his life. So what Dion did, he taught Jackson State how to fish. And now they have a chance to eat for the rest of their life. They already got a hot program. They got hot recruits coming in. And they got prom they got promotions. They got sponsors. They have boosters. And they have the limelight now. You wouldn't be talking about Jackson State ever. Unless it was prime time. And prime time is Mr. Big Time. And I don't care what you say. The people that's coming at prime time are the real sellouts because they tearing down our brother just to make they self focus like Bomani Jones you was quick to come out there and tear Dion down but you pushing yourself up and don't you look like the sellout you sitting there talking about you would never even went there so this man sat there and did something out of his own heart to go help a struggling program and you said you would never even went there so who is really the sellout this man spent out of his own pocket you didn't want to go there for the cheap pay. So who is really the sellout? This man has went through trials and tribulations, adversities to push this thing out of his own pocket. He asked for funds to help. Nobody did. He had to come out of his own pocket. He used his own platform, his own stardom to push it. And nobody helped. But I can say this. What if Deion Sanders had three losing records? Then they'd been quick to fire him and got up out of there. I bet we would have had no outrage for Deion then. If Deion Sanders had a losing records, them three, them three seasons of losing records, and they fire him, would we have outrage for Deion? Would anybody have cried and says, where is Deion's justice? No. See, we are too confused. And the masses, they put stuff out there to shield and blind us and take our minds away from the real agenda. And just like sheep, we going at it. Just like with Kanye, with Kyrie. It's all a big propaganda. You need to look forward and start embracing and protecting and start going with black owned businesses. I'm not seeing people do that. But Dion did what he did. He fixed the HBU school. I don't see none of y'all doing it. It's really crazy because people don't really know what they're mad at. They just mad at the fact that Dion has a chance to do better. They wasn't mad at the fact that he didn't have the materials that he need, but he made a way. They wasn't mad when he got robbed. They wasn't mad when he didn't have the funds. They weren't mad when he didn't have the equipment. They weren't mad when he didn't have the stuff that he needed to succeed. And why are we not talking about grades? Isn't that what the college is about? No, they're talking about athletics. Uh, HBU school is supposed to be about grades and all Dion's players had remarkable grades but we're not talking about that it's about excellence and it's about not staying stagnant in what you do 
Yes, you made your mark here. Now it's time for him to go to a Power 5 school. And then we mentioned the fact that he's bringing 10 of his players up there. Ones that would have never made it to a Power 5 school. They're coming up there now to get a bigger experience. And who says this is the last stop for Dion? Dion has aspirations of the NFL. And then when he reaches that, then he has a, a better way to sit there and market more to the people. See, we need people in positions. This is just a starting point. People look at where you're going, but they don't look at where you're trying to end up at. And we need to stop being so quick to judge our fellow man and stand behind them and quick to say somebody's a sellout when they're not doing what you would do. And don't call a person a sellout if they're doing something that you wouldn't do. And if you know for a fact that you wouldn't do it, how can you blame the next man for not doing it? Shout out to Deion Sanders Primetime, man. Keep being excellent. Keep being primetime. And keep holding it down. I'm out.